quiet. Darlings, I have an announcement to make. My parading days are over. No! no! Ah, 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 but do not fear. It will only be for a little while. I will return as soon as the Lord of Shadows is defeated. We... we understand, Sylve. That Mordigan's stolen enough smiles. Someone's got to stop him. Yeah, you go and do what you gotta do, Sylve. We'll be heartbroken without you, of course, but we'll survive. And if anyone can show that rotten spoil sport what's what, it's you. <clears throat> exactly. We'll never get those smiles back if I don't do this. And I won't be leaving you high and dry. I'm going to ask my papi to look after you in Puerto Valor. Puerto Valor? Wait. I'm putting dots together, huh? Surely not. Surely you cannot be Don Rodrigo's. So you finally figured it out, huh? Same old stone-headed Hendrick. Such a sweet, simple boy. Huh? Oh! my little champions of cheer let's go show puerto valor how to party yeah! <laughs> yeah! i i cannot fathom it the boy is unrecognizable and he has abandoned the name his father gave him don rodrigo must be furious Forgive me for my lack of composure. This has all come as quite a shock. Silvando is none other than the son and heir of Don Rodrigo, the noblest and most revered of all knights. It was always assumed that he would follow in his father's footsteps. But the two had a terrible argument, and the boy left Puerto Valor never to return. Until now. But perhaps this is not such a bad thing. I have been meaning to visit Don Rodrigo and seek his counsel. Very well. It is not far from here to Puerto Valor. The road will take us north and then east. Come, let us follow the parade. We're like port there. strange I thought I'd never see this place again and yet here I am well at least I came back with a bang you go on ahead honey I need a second to compose myself Oh boy, I'm sure his father will be real happy we brought these kids. Rigo appears to be feeling better today, indeed. I believe he is awake at the moment. We'll find him in his room. Please feel free to enter. I'm sure he will be delighted to grant you an audience. In the meantime, I had better go investigate the cause of all the commotion outside. Don Rodrigo, it is I, Hendrik. It has been too long. 
Huh? Hendrik? Ho <laughs> ho ho! How many years has it been since you completed your training, eh? Huh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. I have heard many tales of your exploits. <laughs> to think that the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador. <laughs> I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, then Yggdrasil, and now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. It tells me that you and he seek to defeat the Lord of Shadows together. We've done well to make it here. The journey cannot have been easy. You must rest here in Puerto Vallor before continuing on your way. It may not be the most exciting of towns, but I can promise you a warm welcome. You have a casino. Pretty exciting. Heard everywhere else. Very exciting. Silvaria? I think he went down the big staircase at least in the sea. Right. Oh, hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. And yet the thought of facing Poppy makes me want to run away screaming. Yeah, you should take off those feathers. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. But now I'm here, I... I'm... St You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. Hendrik told you, huh? <laughs> it all seems so far away now. Even before I could walk, I was training to be a knight, you know? I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. As it always does. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was... Love at first sight. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, that was the life for me. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed the night I broke the news to him, let me tell you. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh no. This was my calling, to make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that actually well, line was terrible. He didn't have anything to say to me after that. That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said. So I left, and I haven't seen him since. Ah, oh, dear me, that got a bit long and emotional, huh? Hmm? But it's made me feel a whole lot better. In fact, yes, let's do this. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit.
Oh, you with the feathers. You must leave. Don Rodrigo is no place for a suspicious character such as you. Damon Gonzalez, eh? Well, sorry, honey, but you don't scare me. I knew you back when the sight of a spot of blood was enough to send you crying for your mommy. What? How do you know my name? I bet you're still petrified of the little squeaky mousies, too, huh? I remember the time when you accidentally picked one up instead of a brush. Oh, darling, that look on your face was priceless. Oh, it's impossible. Surely. Surely you're not. So, pennies finally dropped, huh? Wonder what. You've come back. I thought I would never see you again. It's un milagro. A miracle. So flattered to hear it. Sorry to leave you all on your lonesome for so long. Now, you don't mind if I have a little look around the old place, do you? What? No, of course not. Please, this is your home. Look around as much as you like. Not looking around. We're going straight in. Oh, you know what? There's like some bookcases and stuff that I didn't check last time I was here. Hi, puppy! Caramba! Norberto! You dare to show your face in my presence! And you have come to tell me something, see? I, I'm so sorry, puppy! Sorry, 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 sorry! So, so sorry! Sorry? <laughs> What are you apologizing for, foolish boy? Huh? You should stand on. Why were you I laying down with your boots? Succeeded in making the world smile. See? Uh, not yet, puppy. Then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Puppy! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. What kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it? Wait. Puppy, did you say knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Puppy. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? See? How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. Okay. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Tell him, Dad. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. Young They're gentlemen. kind of young and kind of innocent. <laughs> okay. Need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. Sure, that's what you were. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? <gasps> Oh, Papi, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? Mm -hmm. Oh, darlings! Come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo! 
They were out harassing people in town. I don't know if they're there. What a lovely bedroom. It's so big. <gasps> oh, don't tell me this is your dad's self. He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. <laughs> Roberto, explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? And the voice if you don't look the part, huh? You promised. And didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? That chick's face in the back. I'm with her. Gear, platinum meal. Okay. Might be an upgrade. That's settled, Norberto. I will take care of the curious little amigos and you will take care of the Lord of Shadows. Oops, what's that? So you like to make bold claims. Again, yeah, return to me once you have defeated Morgan. We will see if your action lives up to your words. Soldiers of Smile, you serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. I hope the dad takes them and just turns them to like a troop of knights. That'd be hilarious. Please, Sylv, don't go. Don't leave us. <laughs> oh, darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. <laughs> and no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Oh, oh, self, we'll be with you too. Just say the words, and we'll come running. <laughs> <laughs> Hit parade pet power cheese. Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. song has to play the salty stallion is all yours too of course she's anchored off to the east of here nice with a ship at our disposal other places will be accessible to us perhaps now we can seek out your friends in arborea <clears throat> oh 
Oh, horse sailor. Sweet. Party garb. It's a big improvement for him. That's big for my main dude. Okay. How much is it going to cost? Only 1200 I'm sure the other ones are going to cost more. But... I did that, I definitely regretted it. Got lucky there. All right. Yeah, it's only 5k. did a triple bash there. Cool. What's up, Armando? Is it worth it? Mm. It depends. Like, it's all right. I'm not gonna say this is like one of the better RPGs that I've played. It's it's all right. Like, uh, I feel like it's kind of easy. Um, like the crafting system, like right now, that was all right. Um, it's been kind of fun to have. The story's okay, but then there's just like, I just got past like this really weird part. And like, humor doesn't strike me, but like if, I mean, if you find it funny, then you might enjoy it. But yeah, it's okay. I, I don't know. Besides that, I can't like give it a strong, strong recommendation. Like if you can get it on discount, I think that would be probably the best. It is long, yeah. There is a lot of game here. Um, if you're enjoying it, there's a bunch of quests. 
and like some other like side quests that I haven't really touched too much of. But it definitely has that like classic RPG feel. So like if you're looking to scratch that itch, this would do it. Like right there, like probably a little over leveled, anyways. But there hasn't been too too much challenge. I haven't fought one of these yet. One cool thing about the combat too is, um, I think one of my favorite things about this is you can actually go to uh, your tactics and you can choose who you control. So like if I didn't want to control Silvando, I can just give him orders like the rest of them have and they fight automatically and you can only have to worry about one person or you can just like, um, you can, um, what is it? Yeah, yeah, you can control everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, I'm playing it on Game Pass right now. That's the reason I'm playing it. It was on there. I heard it was alright, so I wanted to give it a shot. So if you got Game Pass, then yeah. Give it a shot. Because the best part it is, is that's like the... It's the definitive edition, so it's the one with the updated soundtrack and everything. Okay, so by the way, rumors what's going around about the end of Zordas, the Warrior's Rest, they call it. Seems everyone who stays the night there ends up having the same dream. Same dream, you say? Oh, that's interesting. I reckon we should go and pay the end of we visit. It's on the coast of northeast of here if i recall come on laddie let's head over to zordust and see if there's any truth to this okay so we're going to zordust oh i'm rondo thank you for the follow appreciate it We got a game pass then. There's no reason not to. Also, if you're gonna play on PC, I'd strongly recommend a controller. Victory is ours. Is this where Zordas is? Any other Game Pass games? Um, oh, god, there's a lot. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if I... filter down to four and five stars, um... So the Outer Worlds, if you haven't played it, both Ori games, if you haven't played them, are both amazing. Um, Hellblade is really good. I just finished a Plague Tale, 
It's a little short. It's like only 10 hours, but that was that was a really fun game. And then Hollow Knight as well. That's a classic. Yeah, those are definitely games that I recommend on there. I think. Are there any others? I haven't. Because they've. Man, they've added a lot of games. Also, I have Assassin's Creed series on there. Which is... oh, wait, wait, no, they don't. No, no, no. That's my library. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't know if I was looking at the right games. I'm, at, I'm on God Galaxy right now. Okay, okay. So that was right. I was looking at the other things. I don't have all the Assassin's Creed games. Um, so. I haven't played it, but uh, Dishonored 2 is apparently a game that is like almost a must-play. It's on my sh like on my list somewhere in there. Grounded, yeah. I think I was to that. But yeah, there's a bunch of games on here that I really want to try out still. Like I heard Oxen Free was good. Pillars of Eternity, if you like. CRPGs. Subnautica was really good. I didn't realize it was on Game Pass now. Um, it, Ori's like a... Like it's a platformer. It's relatively short. It, it's kind of like a... In the style of... Metroidvania type game. And it's just really well made. Smooth. Uh, the controls are tight. You just gotta be patient with it. Because there are some points in there that you definitely have to be patient with. Victory is ours. Because they're kinda like um you know. It's like a platformer at that point, and things will really screw you over. Come out of water. Uh, after this, I'm gonna get some more. It's a wee bit stormy all of a sudden. Silvando. This ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? Well, yeah, dude, if you've got Game Pass, like, there's nothing wrong with, like, opening a game, playing it for, like, an hour, and then deciding if you even care. <laughs> Don't mention the S word! I'll have us out of this in just a jiffy! <sighs> That voice, where is it coming from? That's this guy again. Okay. I think I'm sitting around like 41, 42 hours right now. Me on. 
I just blasted you with pearly gates and you barely even flinched. <laughs> the awe with which my lord and master entrusted me renders all your petty human enchantments null and void. Oh, it's definitely Dragon Ball like. Even so much so that, like, you're collecting spears. What? Okay. A second. I thought it was like a fish person. Okay, this is interesting. Oh well, so it's you. Don't look so worried. This place is in heaven, but it's certainly not hell either. Well, don't just sit there. Grab yourself a rod. Right. So, grabbing a fishing pole. And hmm. what, might I ask, are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? <laughs> no, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed... <laughs> Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. In your world, I am known as the Seer. Okay. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? No, I didn't think so. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is just the way of life. You know... I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. You might also want to put some bait on that hook. Just throw that out there.
Who? No. Okay. Take your seat. Make yourself at home. I like how my character is like casually doing this, not really asking questions. Now, the fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. So that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken. No more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the luminary. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? That won't do at all. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Hmm. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Go. Save the world. It was kind of a cool scene. Every once in a while, it'll pop in with like a scene like that. It's makes the game kind of fun. <gasps> Darling, you're alive! Oh. <sighs> When you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. Probably not a good idea that I'm wearing this armory. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. And that's why we don't witness it, because it wouldn't have worked. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer. And they turned into a dog? Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Mm hmm. Whoop. <laughs> in your heart and lightning in your hand Put in your heart and lightning in your hand you go. there'll be time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow laddie come on let's get you to bed Speaking of much needed rest, we're probably gonna save and call it a night at the next save point. Oh, you're awake. I hear you were attacked by the sea monster everyone has been talking about. I can't believe you survived. It must be your lucky day. 
Now I hope you're not thinking of venturing out to sea again. The beast may have swum off into the open ocean, but I doubt he'll stay away for long. Perhaps a trip to the warrior's rest would be a wise move. The inn has been the source of many mysterious rumors of late. Before I break some things. I tried this already, yep. Find a camp. What's up, my dude? People from all over Edria are claiming to have seen a number of strange fish like creatures rising from the ocean and onto land. Once I would have laughed at such a uh, fanciful tale, but since the fall of Yggdrasil, nothing seems impossible. What will become of this world? See how hard mobs are. I always like to get like a finger on just like how tough things are, just in case I'm under level. So far, not too many threats. This one. So it's kind of interesting, they give you like the ability to move during battle. I have not at any point found a use for it. It really doesn't seem to matter. I'm wondering if like, there's a strategy that I did not catch that is helpful if you actually do use it. Oh, where's the guy? Is he outside? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely remastered. They added a bunch of stuff to it. That's the vendor. Okay, I have to spend the night here. But. This is town is miles away. I suggest you rest in the inn here and say a few prayers before you continue your journey. Alright, cool. Yeah, so I've got a little over 40, 41, or about 42 hours now. All right, cool. So I'm gonna call it a night there. Um, I'll be back on probably around like one or two Eastern. Um, play probably a little Darkest Dungeon and then I'll jump on this game around five, six Eastern and try to get a good chunk of it done tomorrow. But uh, because everyone was hanging out, uh, I know Sergeant Nugget, you took off for tonight. Amano, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the follow. Uh, good luck finding games. There's plenty. I heard it also too, the Yakuza series is worth taking a look at. I haven't played any of them yet, but um, most of them are coming to the Game Pass, so something to look forward to. Yep, that's gonna be for tonight. See you guys later.